Our next award in the Parkinson's disease category is funded by the Alma Mae George and the Hellian Annette Hoban Estate and Amiolian Memorial Fund. And this year the award goes to Dr. Wesley Thavisan, working through the University of Melbourne for their project looking at assessing a new deep brain stimulation target in the brain to alleviate symptoms of postural instability in Parkinson's disease. And the award is going to be accepted tonight by Professor Colette Mackay from the Bionics Institute on behalf of the team. It's a great honour to be here on behalf of Dr Wesley Thavathazan and the Bionics Institute to accept this, this award. Parkinson's disease affects more than 64,000 Australians and this number is going to increase as the population ages. Among other symptoms of Parkinson's disease is postural instability, which causes, um, poses a, a danger of falls uh, ever present and decreases the quality of life of these patients. Also, the medications that are used in Parkinson's disease bring their own side effects, which are often as debilitating and as distressing as the Parkinson's symptoms themselves. So deep brain stimulation is a technique in which electric current is, um, is given to the specific parts of the brain via implanted electrodes. And this is quite successful in Parkinson's disease. However, the conventional place to put the electrodes um, means that the postural instability is often not a symptom that's actually improved. So Dr. Thebathazan has been investigating a new site in the brain to actually stimulate for Parkinson's disease, which hopefully will improve these outcomes. The award will help a young researcher at the Bionics Institute, Dr. Pereira, to actually apply mathematical modelling to the data so that we can actually see how we can use this particular target in the brain to improve Parkinson's disease. The award is also a very welcome and important contribution to the Bionic Institute's development of a new brain stimulation device for deep brain stimulation, which will improve um, outcomes for not only for Parkinson's disease, but, other, but for people with other movement disorders, some psychiatric <coughs> disorders, and also people who suffer from chronic pain. So thank you again for this lovely award.